Halliday's Point Sports Club love to celebrate Female Football Week. So it's a great opportunity for us to introduce women to this wonderful game. Quite often women don't come along to coaching courses or join new teams with the fear of not being able to do it right or having not done it before. So Female Football Week is a great opportunity for us to present female only programs that really encourage new women to the game and introduce them to this great sport. I think that women have a better understanding of the pressures of other women and um, they have a different perspective than what the men do. It's also good to have role models for younger women coming through. Women in coaching roles, especially for the girls in our, our competition coming through, they get to see that it, it's achievable to, to have those pathways through soccer that they can actually make a difference as well to other people and guide them out on the park. Having played and then taking the knowledge that, that you develop on the park out and then being able to share that with other people is really, really important. I think that the lack of female input into a very male-dominated sport has changed and there's a lot more females coming through into coaching roles, looking into coaching courses and furthering the want to know more and to be able to share. It's really important for girls to have an opportunity to play in girls only teams. That research has shown that from a really young age there is a very significant difference in the way that males and females approach the game and a lot of that comes from the expectations of the people around them to join into football in different ways. Um, but we're really fortunate that with our mini roos program, the way that it's set up and our sixes and sevens, we can actually start a full female only mini roos team every week, which allows those girls more chances to touch the ball, more interest in the game. We're a little bit unlucky at the moment in this area that we don't have a girls program underneath our ladies. So girls are forced to play mixed or leave the game when, when they're sort of ageing out of those younger teams. And then we're just throwing them into this ladies environment that quite often is pretty confronting. So by being able to provide them with mini roost programs from girls, we're hoping to be able to build that from the grassroots up and create female participation across the board. I've noticed that having my daughter on the team with me, she hasn't played since she was little, and for her to join back into a team of teenage boys is pretty confronting for her. She wanted to come into the ladies team instead, and it made it a little bit easier for her, and she's really enjoying it. To give girls the chance to play with other girls, ladies with ladies, definitely develops a different type of bond, a different type of vibe with the soccer. I, I think that playing along with men in a, a multi-sex team often can become out, outstrengthed and, and a lot of the boys can become a lot stronger in things that they do and the girls get less ball time and less um, touches on the ball and I think that they're more likely to walk away from soccer um, at a younger age if that's their only options. Why do you love playing soccer? Because it's fun getting goals. Do you like playing with um, other girls on your team? Yeah. Yeah, why do you like playing with the girls? Because they can help me. Annie, do you like playing soccer? Yeah. Why do you love playing soccer? Because um, tackling is really fun. Do you get to play with other girls? Sometimes. And do you like playing with the other girls? Yep. Especially Zoe because she gets to help um, her team and gets lots of goals. I'm Sophie. Do you like playing soccer? Yes. Why do you like playing soccer? Because the other girls in the white right team help me get scores. Uh, we're very fortunate at Halliday's Point to have a lot of female volunteers throughout the club. Over half of our committee is female, which is great to have females in those decision making positions. We also have a really great core group of women that turn up every Saturday and run the canteen for us. Um, we have volunteers 
as coaching a lot of our um, mums in our sixes and sevens program uh, put their hand up to help because it's such a uh, welcoming and unique environment that teaches them how to coach in a way that they don't feel judged or pressured to do anything else. So we're very fortunate that we have a lot of female representation, but we could always do with more. So Female Football Week is a great opportunity for us to extend that further.